Good morning. Good morning. Come on in. Hey guys. Excuse me. Can you tell me why my daughter says that you put your hands on her yesterday? I'm really trying to keep it together right now. What? I would never. Did she put her hands on you yesterday? So someone's lying here. And do you know what? I will always believe my daughter over some teacher. You better believe I've already contacted the district and my attorney. I would never. If I ever hear that you've touched a hair on her head again, I will come down here and handle it myself. Honey, why are you telling your mom this? Right, so she didn't answer half of them. That's why she has a 50%. Yeah, but the ones that she did answer, she got 100% right. So she should have 100%. Why are you arguing with me? Haven't you ever heard the saying, the customer is always right? So this is not a business and you are not a customer. Let's get something straight. You serve me. This is a business. Oh, well, in that case, here's your refund. Bye. Oh, you're back. I was using your room to fart in. How was it? Pretty tough. Just sad. The funeral was nice though. Oh, I meant how was lunch. I'm getting ready to run down to the cafeteria. Oh, just a heads up. I really need to be told about your absences a week in advance next time. Oh yeah, I'll definitely let my family members know that they need to give me a heads up the next time one of them decides to die. Thanks for understanding. Oh, and Lauren? Yeah? I'll need a copy of the death certificate or some sort of proof if you want to get paid for those days. Can I go to the nurse? Are you sick? What's up? No, I'm just hungry. Oh, go grab something out of my snack basket. Your class just came from lunch though. Why didn't you eat? My mom picked me up for an appointment during lunch, so I didn't eat. I don't want those. I want like a BLT on a hoagie. If I could make that for you, I would. But the nurse won't have that stuff either. You can have as many snacks out of my bin as you want, but you really need to be here so you can pass the final. Can you tell me why my daughter didn't eat today? Miss Smith, good to see you. If you take your child out of school at her lunchtime, you are responsible for feeding her. And our cafeteria closes after her class's lunchtime anyway. Well, we didn't have time. We had a set appointment time. I get it. It's hard to get in to see a doctor nowadays. Doctor? I had a nail appointment and needed her help picking out the color. Did you just go and get your nails done for this video? No, but they are cute though, right? Oh my gosh, they are cute. <laughs> I know. All right, GTFO out of here. Rain rumbled over the tracks. Oh, it's Miss Hey there. Um, how'd you get down? Never mind. What you got there? As you know, it's Susie's birthday today, so I wanted to bring some stuff by for the party. Party? Where can I get set up? Well, if you just drop it off back there on that back table, I'll be more than happy to get it passed out at the end of the day during snack time. Oh, no, no, no. I'm here to help. Um, honey, do you want to come get your birthday crown on and grab your fairy wand? Oh, it's louder. Oh, yeah. Can I have a fairy wand? Please go sit I down. A party. I, I and mommy even brought your favorite candle. Watch, look how cute this is. You know what? I'm going to head to the back and slam my head off some cubbies until I forget where I'm at, okay? They're all yours. Miss Louder? <laughs> Go put your head down at your desk, sweetie. Jimmy doesn't feel very good today. He's got a fever. So if you could show him a little extra love, that would mean a lot. Should he be here if he's feeling so poorly? He's fine. I just gave him some Tylenol. He's due for his next dose around 12. I can't administer medicine. It's school policy. And even if I could, I don't have the medicine. Oh, here, you can just run to the 7-Eleven on your break and grab him some. Keep the change. I can't administer medicine. And if Jimmy has a fever, he can't be here. Oh my gosh, look, over there, a pay raise. Grab your stuff, Jimmy. I'll walk you up to the nurse. Good morning, Miss Louder. Go take your seat, sweetie. Can I pull you aside for a second? Sure, I'm just trying to get my day started with a classroom full of 27 children, but what's up? So I wanted to make you aware that Jimmy's having a lot of anxiety when it comes to going number two here at school. Oh, I hate to hear that. So just call me whenever he's gotta go and I'll run by and pick him up so he can go at home and then I'll bring him back. 
Okay, Miss Smith, so I'm really sorry that Jimmy's having a difficult time building a dookie castle here at school, but that constant change in schedule just isn't a sustainable approach. He can't poop here at school. What do you want him to do, get a blockage? Listen, he would miss so much instruction if we did it that way. I would hate to see him fall behind just because of some butt dumplings. I'd be more than happy to make sure he has the bathroom to himself when he has to go, would that help? I'm just gonna take him home and we'll try and figure something out, okay? Jimmy, let's go, we're leaving. Can you tell me why my son didn't get a breakfast this morning? Hello. Well, I didn't know he needed one because he normally doesn't get one here at school. He informed you that he spilled his breakfast today. Uh, he told me he spilled his hot chocolate from 7-Eleven this morning. Exactly. So why wouldn't you help him get another breakfast? So with all due respect, I just didn't consider hot chocolate to be breakfast. But if he does need breakfast here at school, he's responsible for getting it in the morning when he gets here. Do you have a problem with me giving my child hot chocolate for breakfast? No, not at all. But when you say breakfast, I picture food. I see hot chocolate as more of a sugary treat and not something to start the day off with. I'm contacting your principal. Oh, here, hold on, let me help you out. Here's her email address, her office number, her home phone number, and her address, just in case. Bye, bestie. The behaviors are just getting really concerning. Like today, he threw a chair across the room. Oh, let me stop you there. Did this happen between the hours of eight and three? Yes. Then it's not my problem. Oh, well, it's 5.30. And I scheduled this meeting after my contract hours. So if those are the rules now, you are officially not my problem. Drive safe. Can you? Tell me why my daughter Susie is not in the arts and crafts pictures you just uploaded to Class Dojo. That fast, huh? Unfortunately, Susie wasn't here that day, remember? Yeah, I normally keep her home when it's chilly outside, you know that. I do know that. If only there was an extra piece of clothing you could wear to keep you warm when it's chilly outside. Can we stay focused, please? I'm so sorry you're disappointed that she's not in these photos, but she wasn't at school, so I couldn't take her picture. Well, maybe next time? Don't do crafts and take pictures when students are absent. Ma'am, there are children absent every day, which means we would never do crafts or take pictures. Well, now Susie feels very left out, so I suggest you do a photo shoot with her to make her feel better. I definitely will. Perfect. Bye. Bye now.